Whether you have an inside cabin, ocean view, or balcony cabin, there are some things that you should never do in your stateroom. Doing some of these things can cause problems, be dangerous, and in some cases, even get you kicked off the cruise. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewallcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now there are definitely some things that you should not or cannot do in a cruise ship cabin. And some of these things are going to surprise some people because cruise ship cabins are of course very different than hotel rooms at a land resort. Now in this video, I'm gonna share the things that you should not do in a cruise ship cabin that have to do with safety, cruise ship etiquette, and other things that are just going to really save you some potential problems and even things that might potentially cost you money. Now I'm also going to share some cruise tips that you can use and the one mistake that many people are making in their cruise ship cabin today that they are regretting the moment they get off their cruise. Now, before I get started, I did wanna mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Number one, don't take drinks or food from the in-cabin mini bar. Now this might seem obvious, but it isn't to many people that have the cruise line beverage package. So they are often surprised that the water or the soda that might be in the fridge or that might be on the counter, well, that is not included in the beverage package. Now I'm a little bit embarrassed to say that I have some personal experience with this. About a year ago, we brought our two adult sons on a cruise. One of our sons hadn't cruised in a few years, so he never did have the beverage package. And he actually thought that those tall Evian water bottles that they were included. So we had started to notice charges on our account for those. In any case, let everybody know that the mini bar bottles are not included. And something that you can do is actually ask your cabin attendant to simply remove them from the cabin. Now I actually have a total of 20 of these things. So I'm gonna try to go through this list rather quickly. Number two, there's no smoking in a cruise ship cabin. Now there are some different designated areas around the cruise ship, mostly on the exterior, but if you are a smoker, you cannot smoke in your cabin. Now this includes smoking anything. So even if some substances that are illegal federally, if they are legal in your state or where you live, they are not legal on a cruise ship. And should you smoke any of this in your cruise ship cabin, well, obviously people are going to know, including your cruise cabin attendant, but you can actually get kicked off the cruise ship. Number three, you can never smoke on your cruise ship balcony. Now, there are a couple of exceptions. I will share those, but most of the time you cannot smoke on your cruise ship balcony. This does have to do with safety. Now, I came to find out on a recent cruise, we were docked next to a cruise ship that was a mine shift cruise ship. And I did see people smoking on the cruise ship balcony. So I did Google this and I came to find out there are some cruise lines, mostly European cruise lines that do allow smoking on the balconies. I'm not sure what kind of rules they have around this, but most popular cruise lines do not allow you to smoke on the balconies. And this is actually a safety rule and cruise lines do take it seriously. Now, what about vaping? You might wonder, that's a question I've actually seen come up recently. So you are not allowed to vape in your cabin either. And basically vaping is treated the same way as smoking on a cruise ship. Number four, don't damage your cruise ship cabin. Now this one is pretty obvious. You can't damage hotel rooms either, but there are some non-obvious ways that people might be damaging their cabin. So one of the ways is with those over the door organizers on the bathroom wall. So we even have some cruise lines that don't allow them. If I'm not mistaken, Disney Cruise Line is one of them. But if you do use an over the door organizer, just make sure that it doesn't damage the bathroom door. Now, in terms of other things that can damage your cabin, be careful when you are putting anything on the wall. So if you're putting a magnet on the wall, like a magnet hook, that is okay. But if you are putting anything on with tape, that is something that you are not allowed to do because of course it could damage the wall covering. Now, even if you wanna put up different cabin decorations or door decorations, it's best to use the magnetic kind or just be careful, perhaps use some sticky tack or even some command hooks instead of regular tape. Number five, don't take items that are meant to use in your cabin home with a couple of exceptions. So don't take those wonderful bathrobes. Don't take those home. You will actually be charged if you do. Don't take the pool towels or the beach towels that could be left in your cabin. 
Don't take those home. Don't even take that great big umbrella or the binoculars that might have been left for your use on an Alaskan cruise. Don't take those home. Now there are some exceptions. If you've been left a tote bag by your cruise line as a gift or slippers to use in your cabin, you can actually take those home with you. Okay, now let's talk about some cruise ship balcony do's and don'ts. Don't open up your balcony door while opening up your front cabin door. Now there are a couple of reasons for this. One of them is because it does create a wind tunnel. Things are going to fly all over your cabin. It's hard to open up the door, all of those things. But actually there's a little bit more of a serious one. And this is something that I heard a few months ago. There was somebody who opened up his balcony door while the front door was also open. And what happened is the door actually slammed back and actually cut off the tip of his finger. So I don't even wanna think about it, just awful. But just remember, especially if you have one of those balcony doors that actually opens and closes rather than a sliding door, really do watch that for safety reasons. Don't sit or stand on the balcony railings. Now, nobody ever falls off a cruise ship by accident, so you really do wanna be careful. Now, I don't think most people watching this video will actually do that, but if you do have children or teenagers, this is something really important to talk to them about. Now, just something to mention for those parents and grandparents is not only should you keep your balcony door locked from the inside if you have your kids inside the cabin with you, but also there's usually a safety lock that you can find at the very top of your balcony door, so you'll wanna keep that closed as well. Now, when it comes to the furniture that is on your cruise ship balcony, something that you'll wanna do as well is never leave the furniture propped up right against the railing and don't let your kids stand on it. Now, these are actually the pretty serious things never to do on your balcony, but I am gonna share some of the more outrageous things that some people have done on balconies that of course you should not do. It can even get you kicked off the cruise ship. I'll share that towards the end of the video. Cruise cabin attendant do's and don'ts. Never be rude to your cruise cabin attendant. They are working very hard. They're cleaning your cabin either once or sometimes twice a day. A lot of how much you enjoy your cruise is going to be dependent on your cruise cabin attendant, so be nice. Now in that vein, don't leave a huge mess in your cruise ship cabin. Now, of course, you don't have to clean your cruise ship cabin for your cabin attendant, but don't leave a pile of clothing on the floor, for example. I've actually heard of in extreme cases where the cruise cabin attendant has actually spoken to their supervisor and they've warned the guests that they won't be able to actually clean their room until they pick up the items off the floor. Don't forget to put out your do not disturb sign. Now your do not disturb sign is really not for other guests. It is for the cruise cabin attendant because sometimes what will happen is they want to drop off something in the cabin, perhaps one of the daily planners or a notification. And what they'll do is they'll do a quick knock and then they'll walk right in if they don't think that anybody is in the cruise ship cabin. Now you might be in an intimate situation. You might be just in the shower. You don't want that to happen. So do make sure that you put out that do not disturb sign when you don't want anyone to enter. Don't forget to put out the makeup room sign. So just the same as you need to put out the do not disturb sign. If you don't put up the makeup room sign, there's a good chance that your cabin just won't be cleaned and you don't want that. So it is a good idea. Make sure that you put that out. Now it did happen to us once that we forgot to turn on the little signal to let our cabin attendant know that we needed the room cleaned and something that he told us later on, he didn't clean it, uh, but something he told us is he actually waited for hours and it was on a port day where he could have gotten out. In any case, I felt really, really bad. So I always remember this now. Now this one is a little bit personal, but don't remove the automatic gratuities. That in part will go to your cruise cabin attendant or otherwise don't forget to make sure that you do tip your cruise cabin attendant. A big part of the income that they make does come from those tips, so it is pretty important for them. Don't bring on any prohibited items that you plan to use in your cruise ship cabin and don't try to sneak them in. Now, in particular, I am talking about irons and steamers. You're not allowed to bring irons and steamers on cruise ships because it is a fire hazard. However, I have seen some posts on social media where some people ask about how to sneak these on. Not a good idea. And honestly, most of the time they are going to be confiscated. I have seen that confiscated table in the cruise ship port. And apparently there are three items that are regularly seen there. It is iron steamers and extension cords. Now, when it comes to extension cords, sometimes when people use a CPAP machine, they will bring 
an extension cord. The best thing that you can do is alert your cruise line, ask them if you should bring an extension cord or if they are going to provide it. There are some cruise lines who don't want you to bring your own extension cord and they will make sure that they have that for you in addition to the distilled water waiting in your cruise ship cabin. Now, the other thing that we also often see on the confiscated item desk is a surge protected power bar. These are not allowed to be brought on cruise ships, so don't expect to use this in your cabin. Instead, you can bring a non-surge protected power bar or even better, bring a power cube with USBs and USB-Cs. Now I will leave a recommendation of the one that we're using right now, linked down below in the description of this video in case you do wanna check that out. Now we'll move on from the prohibited list after this one, but this one has caused some people some problems recently, so I did wanna mention it. Do not bring any CBD gummies on your cruise. This is something that is not allowed because it is illegal according to federal law, no judgment either way. However, there has been a recent case where somebody was found out, their cruise cabin attendant, I believe, did alert the cruise ship and they were actually kicked off the cruise ship and banned for life. Now, this is a story that I have heard, so don't quote me on it, but this is definitely something that you do not want to take a chance on bringing this on a cruise. Number 10, don't forget to put your valuables away. So you want to put your valuables, including jewelry, money, passports, any of those items, just put them in your cabin safe so you don't have a problem. Now, I do have another recommendation that some people have shared they have found helpful. It is also to put any of your important prescription medication to consider putting that in the safe so that they do not get lost, dropped, or misplaced. Number 11, never use anything with an open flame in your cabin. So this includes, of course, lighting candles. You cannot even bring these on a cruise ship and lighting incense. Now I have a few cruise ship bathroom don'ts before we move on to fellow passenger cruise ship etiquette. Now when it comes to the cruise ship bathrooms, the toilet system is very different from what you'd have at home or what you might have in a hotel. And you do not want to flood not only your own bathroom, but potentially the entire hall. So trust me, do not flush anything down the toilet other than the cruise ship toilet paper. Don't even bring your own toilet paper on. Don't use flushable wipes or flush anything else. Now, if you need a sharps container, ask your cabin attendant for that. Don't put your sharps items, obviously, into the regular garbage. If there's a plug for an electric razor in the bathroom, you cannot plug your hair dryer, straightener, anything like that. You cannot plug it in the bathroom. Now, cruise ship cabin bathrooms are small and they aren't that well ventilated, so it's a good idea to bring along some poopery bathroom spray. Trust me, your cabin mates will appreciate it. Be a good cruise cabin neighbor. There are some things that you should not do, so try not to slam the door of your cruise ship cabin, in particular in early morning, late at night. Now, those doors tend to be a little bit heavy, so just keep a little hand on them so they don't slam. Now, when it comes to the cruise ship balcony, make sure that you do close that outdoor light at night. Otherwise, it does tend to shine in to your neighbors and nobody likes that. Now, one of the biggest pet peeves for many people is people that play music loudly in their cabin or especially on their balcony. So do be mindful of this. Don't yell, scream, or have a loud argument in your cabin or on your balcony. Not only can this obviously disturb fellow passengers, but the walls are just not that thick. So you're not gonna have any privacy at all. And cruise ship security can be called. Now, speaking of things not to do on your cruise ship balcony, cruise ship balconies are really not that private and people can actually kind of see in. There are even some cameras on the outside of cruise ships. So if you have any ideas of things that you might wanna do on your cruise ship balcony, do keep that in mind. Now, speaking of things not to do on your cruise ship balcony, and this will definitely surprise some people, especially some new cruisers, is if you have items that need to be dried, like a wet bathing suit, or maybe items that you might've hand washed, you cannot hang up these items on your cruise ship balcony, on the railing or anything like that. That can actually fly off into the ocean. That is something that is not allowed. And it is, by the way, a potential fire hazard as well. Now, if you do wanna dry your clothes in your cruise ship cabin, there is something not to do. And I actually had met people a few years ago on a cruise ship they did this with a really bad consequence. So don't do this on a cruise ship. It is don't hang up clothing on a hanger on the in-cabin sprinkler. What happened to the people that I had met is they did this and they actually set off the sprinkler in their cabin, water everywhere, an actual problem. They had to move cabins. In any case, 
it was an issue so definitely don't do this if you want to hang up your bathing suits or anything else there's often a retractable clothesline in the cruise ship bathroom or otherwise what you can do is you can use those magnetic hooks i'll leave a link for those down below in the description of this video but those work really well to hang up items that you want to dry now I have a couple of pretty outrageous things that some people have done in their cruise ship cabin that you're not allowed to coming up in just a minute, as well as the one thing that some people have regretted the moment that they got off their cruise that has to do with the cruise ship cabin. And I don't want that mistake to happen to you. Now, if you're a parent, don't leave your young children unattended in the cruise ship cabin. And this includes even if you're on a balcony. Now there was a story over the last year or so where there were parents who left their sleeping child. So a really young child sleeping in the cabin while they were out on the balcony. Now they didn't really do anything wrong, but they had closed the cabin curtains. They were coming in every few minutes to check on the child. But what happened in that time is that a cabin attendant came in. He saw that the child was sleeping. He did not see any parents. He actually removed the child from the room. The parents, obviously, when they came in to check on their child every few minutes, were in a panic because the child was gone. Now, the child was safe. I believe they were brought either to guest services or to the nursery. But in any case, this is not something that anybody wants happening to them. So make sure that you're not leaving your children unattended. But in any case, this is something that nobody wants to go through. Now, something to never do is don't remove the life jackets or any other safety equipment. Don't remove or even place them somewhere else in the cabin. Now, if you have a balcony or an ocean view cabin, make sure that you do close your blinds if you're walking around your cabin without any clothing on, especially on a port day. If you don't do so, you might find yourself on a port day parked or docked very close to the ship next to you. And in some cases, it can actually see into your cabin. Don't fish and don't hang an actual clothesline on your cruise ship balcony. Those are all things that some cruise passengers have actually done that obviously is not something that you should be doing on a cruise ship balcony. Now, something that you should definitely not do in your cruise ship cabin, and in particular on disembarkation day, and unfortunately I have seen recently that a lot of people have been making this mistake, is don't forget to check your cabin safe when you are leaving your cabin on the last day of your cruise. Unfortunately, people have been leaving car keys, passports, money. These are all things that if you leave them in your cruise cabin safe, it is going to be a real potential problem when you get off the cruise ship. You are not allowed to actually reboard the cruise ship once you have disembarked. So you really have to make sure that you did bring these items with you Otherwise, it really is a huge potential problem. Now, speaking of disembarkation day, I am gonna leave a video right after this one of the other mistakes that you do not want to make on the day that you disembark your cruise. Now, I'd love to hear from you. Please let me know what are the things that people should not do in their cruise ship cabin and what are some of the experiences that you have had please let me know down in the comments below. Now, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.